is there any like physical characteristics that run down in your family? I'm guessing that might mean um heredity maybe, like things that you get from heredity. Uh, well, my dad was six foot. He was tall, and then he was the tenth youngest child of nine brothers and sisters, and I think most of them were tall, his brothers and sisters. And my mom's family, they were medium height. My uncle, though, her brother, he was tall. So I'm five foot nine and a half, so I'm tall. And um, then um, mom and dad are Mom and Dad, grandparents, both of their parents came from Sweden, so I'm all Swedish, so I have the blonde hair and the blue eyes, and that's all I can think of. Okay. Where and when did you get married? In Jamestown, New York, in 1967, <laughs> in September How did you find out you were going to be a parent for the first time? When I went to the gynecologist and found out that I was pregnant and I was real happy. And your mom's dad was happy too, your grandpa. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That was in uh, 1968. Did you ask me when? I forgot. Um, <laughs> when when I found out I was pregnant. No. But that's a fun answer. Fun. Um, what was your proudest moment as a parent? Wow. There were lots of moments that I was proud of Valerie, your mom. Probably when she graduated from high school. I remember that was a big day. Um, why did you choose? Why did you choose your my mom's name, like Val, as her name? I think it was when her dad and I were listening to music and there was a song called Valerie and we liked the name so if I remember that's who she was she was named after us liking the song Valerie. If you could have had any other perfect if you could have had any other profession, what would it have been? Well, back when I went to school, women didn't become doctors and lawyers like they do nowadays, um, or before nowadays. But um, when uh, women's liberation came about and the change in um, thinking about women, uh, as far as tunnel vision, um, only certain prof professions for women back when I graduated. But um, if I was smart enough, I would have probably liked to see if I could have been a veterinarian because I love animals. Or it made probably something in the veterinary field, like uh, animal technician if I wasn't able 
to become a doctor. But because I love animals, that would be something you always try to do what you love. Um, how do you feel about today's problems like Ebola or ISIS and things that people are scared of now? It seems like there's always something going on people are scared of, but you hit the two top subjects, uh, ISIS and Ebola. Um, yeah, Ebola is scary as far as what we heard on the news. Um, isolating the people that have had it and hoping they're going to be okay and it doesn't transmit to other people. It's a virus that is very scary and could be um, fatal to a lot of people. Um, so hopefully have our trust in um, technology and the doctors that know, know they know um, their profession and how to curtail these viruses. ISIS, it's another terrorism. We've been going through terrorism, different terrorisms a lot um, since 9-11, of course. So ISIS is just as, you know, scary as any of Al-Qaeda and the others. So um, hopefully we can um, have trust in our politicians and um, and, and um, NATO and all the countries that are our allies to curtail, um, keep them keep them from moving forward and eventually making them disappear, which would be, you know, a goal towards world peace. Um, You're asking me hard questions. Of all the things you learned from your parents, which do you feel is most valuable? I think from growing up and watching my parents, um, how good-hearted they were. I think it's important to treat people like you would want to be treated and have a good heart. And, you know, don't be mean. Be nice if you can. It makes the world a better place. What was the most... Like, what accomplishments were you the most proud of? Myself? Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'm a humble person and don't praise myself much about accomplishments. Um, I guess just doing the best job I have. Um, you know, supporting myself and the family um, with your mom and um, you know making making things the happiest they could be I know everybody goes through tough times um, I feel accomplished as far as my work experience I feel like though I had a, had a good job always and have liked my job um, I hope I did a good job raising your mom and because she's turned out to be such a wonderful person and um, that's all I can think of. What is the one thing you want, you most want people, what is the one thing you most want people to remember about you? Probably that um, they en enjoyed my company and enjoyed my friendship, enjoyed being around me, um, that I was a good-hearted, kind person, and I can be fun also. 
a, just overall a good person. Thank you yes. very much for interviewing, for allowing the interview. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me interview, I guess.